Hey guys, so this is the introduction to Simple Docs, which is a Google Docs clone that I built with the Mern stack. Now this is the home page that you'll see if you're not logged in. And this is the login page. Now let me log in using my account and go over some of the features of this application. So after logging in, I'm redirected to the dashboard page, as you can see here. And this page has the list of all the documents that I'm uh, basically a part of. So all the documents that I've created, right? And all the documents that I am a collaborator in. There's also the option to make a new document, as you can see. All I have to do is enter the title of my new document and then click the add button. So let me do that. So now when I click on this add button, you can see just like that, a new document is created and opened. Now let me now show you the editor that I built. So let me open this uh, document that I built before. And you can see that this is the editor. It's a simple rich text editor uh, that I built using Slate.js. And it has a couple of inline as well as block level styles. So I can bold some text here or, you know, uh, I can italicize, underline some text, can uh, make text into code block. So you can just select this and click this icon and it's going to be converted into a code block. I can convert this into a bigger heading. So NH1, I can convert this into a smaller heading. So H2, um, I can make all this text uppercase or I can make all this text lowercase and so on. I can change the element of this text to be centered or I can change the alignment of this text to be right aligned and so on. So this is a simple rich text editor. It, it, not, it does not have much styles right now and I'm planning to add more styles in the future. Um, but the coolest thing about it is, in my opinion, is this auto save functionality. So you can see that it's displaying a message which says saved right now. And uh, if I start typing right now, so you can see that the saved message was gone and now it's come back again. So basically, whenever I'm typing, the editor will not be saved. And then whenever I stop typing, after one second, uh, the editor state will be saved. So you can see that if I type again, after one second, the editor state will be saved so that I won't have to click the saved button ever again. So I can just, so even if I just refresh this page right now, you can see that the editor is not changed. You know, um, my last changed uh, is still persisted in the database. So I guess this is it for the editor. Now let's look at the collaboration features of Simple Docs. So in order for people to um, you know, collaborate on this document. What I need to do is as, as the owner of this document, I can share the link of this document with other people that I want to collaborate with. So I have another um, user logged in here, as you can see, test user one. So what I can do is I can just copy the link of this document and paste it here and just paste it here. So now when I try to open this document using another account, you will see that I won't be able to open it. And this is because test user one is not the owner of the document, um, nor this user is actually listed in the collaborators of the document. So I won't be able to access this document and it's just going to say that I'm not authorized to access this document. But in order to gain access, what I can do is I can send a request to the owner of this document and I can do that by clicking this send request button. So now I'll click on this send request button and you'll see that these uh, notifications, these this, uh, these access request notifications are live, which means that whenever I click on this send request button, it's gonna show up here, you know? So let me now click on this send request button and you can see that I have a notification uh, popping up here as a toast message, of course. And this notification is here because test user is the owner of this document, right? And you can also see that I have this badge here on this bell icon, which says one. Now this one indicates that I have exactly one notification, which is left unattended. So I can click on this bell icon. Sorry about that. So when I click on this bell icon, you can see that I am redirected to the notifications page, as you can see. And on this page, all my unattended, all my unattended notifications are um, listed. 
So you can see that this is the notification that I have left unattended. It says test user one has requested access for overview. So I can choose to either accept or decline the request. So now let's actually accept the request. So if I accept the request, you can see that the notification was deleted and so was the batch. The batch was actually um, deleted also because there is no notification right now. So now if I refresh this page on the test user one side, you can see that I'm listed as a collaborator for the document overview. Okay, so now I'm gonna open the same document on both the windows, right? Yeah, so now uh, I've opened up the same document on both the windows and this is just like opening the same document on two different computers located um, at two different places. So now um, you'll be able to see that this editor actually supports library. So if I change something here, you can see that this change gets persisted over there. And if I change something from the right side, you can see that this change gets persisted over here. And not only that, live editing is cool, but this auto save uh, is also working. So basically, whenever I type something, it just gets auto saved, right? And it also gets auto saved here. So if I refresh this page right now, you can see that uh, the editor state is still persisted in the database. So this is live collaboration plus autosave, um, which is pretty nice. Okay, so now you can see that since I'm the owner of this document, I have a couple of more options. So I can choose to delete this document or I also have the option to manage um, this document. So let me just click on this settings icon and uh, I'm gonna move to the manage route. So as you can see here, that I am on the manage route now. So on this page, I have a couple of options. First, I can rename the document. So let me just rename it to something else. And as you can see, a toast message appears, which just says document renamed. And the new document name is also um, changed here, as you can see. Also, I have the list of collaborators here. So I can see the list of collaborators as well as I can remove them. So let me try and remove the test user one from the list of collaborators. And just like that, the collaborator is removed. So if I try to refresh this page as test user one, of course, you will be able to see that I won't be able to access this document again. And it's just gonna say that I'm not authorized to access this document. Why? Because I'm not a collaborator now, right? So I guess this is it for the application. Um, it's also deployed on Heroku. So uh, you can check this out. I'm gonna link this in the description box below. Also the source code uh, for Simple Docs is on this GitHub repository. I'm also gonna link this down below so you can check it out if you want. Um, please test this application and if you find any bugs, if you find any issues, you can report them on the issues section um, of the GitHub repository. So yeah, I guess this is it and thank you for watching.